GPS for Venturing coming to you from Morgantown, I believe, or Robeson, PA. For uh, we're here at historic Joanna Furnace again. We were here, I think, last this some this past summer or last summer for the Hay Creek Festival. We're back here again at historic Joanna Furnace for their Christmas festival and Christmas craft show, I believe, as well. So let's go inside and check out this place I've been here before if you've seen my channel you you already been here before but this time during Christmas time so come on and come along with me and enjoy the festivities in so there's a lot of food vendors and again I knew I forgot to get my holiday lights I should have gotten my holiday lights there's probably so much to see today so we'll they have all the food stands over there as well so hopefully we'll check something out later but i want to get some photos whoa look at that big old bonfire i noticed uh oh yeah i forgot you got to uh purchase food tickets here to get food it's weird how they do it so there's different vendors as well it's dark so let's go check out that bond beautiful bonfire and there's going to be music here as well so they got a little few warm-up stations as well there's people in dressed in period clothes as well and somebody oh the belschnickel is here that's the belschnickel you don't fall over yet all right well, let me so the belschnickel is out here again Ready to... i don't see l i see a jack Okay. In the naughty it's section. Like, oh. Noella! Is that your name? Jack? That's his name. No! That's his name. Bobby! <laughs> that is Bobby! Bobby, Bobby huh? Yeah. You know, that just adds to the naughty list telling, <laughs> telling a fifth. Yeah, I'm Jack. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we'll get to you later. <laughs> it's a magic book. I just have to look at you and get the first name, and I know immediately who it is. So let me look in the middle of the book. Later, dearie. <laughs> the middle of the book is the need to boot section. <laughs> All right, of course, the bell signal comes two to three weeks before Christmas, and that allows those who are in the needs improvement, or even in the naughty list, that allows them to improve. So uh, let's see here. It says, uh, fights with my brother a lot. Yeah, yeah. It says here, don't make my bed in the morning all the time. Don't look at your mother. And it says here, you don't pick up all your toys after you're done playing with them. Yeah. My gosh, there's a whole page more down here. Well, to be brief, I'm just going to list those, those three items. So you've got a choice. Your choice is at Christmas time, if you don't improve, you may, you may get snakes in your stocking. You want some snakes? So I'm going to continue walking around. Oh, cool. They have a nice little Christmas tree. Well, switch to night vision mode. Oh, cool. We got a wagon here with the Joanna Furnace logo. And we got a lot of luminaries. So the Iron Masters mansion is up on the hill. We'll probably go over there. And the furnace is up this way, so. Well, I'll tell you what. You know, this is the so here's the actual 
Prunus right in front of me right now. Alagadush. The Iron Master's house is right up that way. That's that house you see sitting up on the hill by the parking lot. But this is the actual furnace. The iron furnace here. And then I forgot what the other building is right up ahead. I've been in there too as well. But let's go. And then that's the, I believe the wheel rides shop, I believe. So we're gonna walk along. I forget what this building is, um, but uh, they had it open during uh, the Hay Creek Festival. And there's some folks gonna take a picture right outside the door there. So we'll continue, go on in and check out, and get another look see inside the um that tractor is going to be a hayride which we'll probably be doing later hopefully before the uh it's over so they are doing i guess they are doing demonstrations right now awesome I'm just showing you the the iron making process Sit down here so and watch. So they're actually making stuff. I'm not sure what they're actually making. Let's see what he's making. Parting powder keeps the sand from sticking. So, so they're making the something in a mold. Pattern in there right now. So I have that dusted with the parting powder, so that once I want to remove that pattern, it doesn't stick to the sand. The sand. Um, and then once I get this half crammed up with sand, I'll cover it over. I'll put the other half on top. Here's the furnace. Parting powder. Before I ram up the second half, and I can separate the two halves. And they're making more stuff in the mold over there as well. So basically they have two stations set up. I don't know what they're doing. I think they're making... I think they're making those right there. Oh, it's a Joanna Furnace. It looks like a medallion some sort are you using aluminum for the yeah, for, for demonstration yeah. using aluminum yes uh, the original furnace they would have been doing iron iron here, yeah furnace. but for demonstration the aluminum is much easier to work with lower melting temperature. 
furnace and stuff. You can see the pigs that are right over there. Through the upper mold. Powder so it won't it won't stick to the mold. Basically, like a mold release. gave you an idea of how they would have done things in the 1700s, which would be the 18th century.
creating it now. Now, what he, where he made that hole is approximately where the fill hole is at. I mean, where he made that line, sorry, the side of the frame there.
getting ready to do the pour shortly. out of it. Sorry. They're making more ingots out of it? Yeah. To remelt. Put the crucible back in there. got to wait maybe five minutes or so for that to uh, cool down. see one day what it looks like when it fresh out of the mold but it, it should look like that it should look like that tin star or that, that aluminum star yep there it is Be. So there's the demonstration of how they make stuff. Uh, well, it would have been iron, not not aluminum again. So we'll continue on our merry way now. <laughs> this might be a long video unless I pause it and break it up into smaller ones. Yeah. So I know there's a. Um, there's a sign up around here that tells you what what this building is but every time i go to get a, a picture of it people are standing and taking getting their photos and holiday photos in front of the, the building here so they, they hear the uh the hayride coming through go ahead Yeah, so they have a information board here, but it's going to be hard to see at night time. So um, if you check out my visit here from the first time I came here, um, I have the picture of that information board. So let's go over here to the check out the real wheelwright shop. And oh, we have the blacksmith shop open today. So again, they, I've already gotten information about this as well before. I don't know if they're doing any demos today. Yep. So,
And this outside part is saw. It's not, it's not steam or anything like that. It's just a, one piece of wood. You look at the grain. Yeah, I see uh, it's it. It's one piece of wood. Wow. That would have been that would have been white oak. The, the spokes would have been ash or something on the hard wood too. And then the middle part, sycamore. Oh, wow. The reason for the three different kinds of wood is that uh, this will take the dampness a lot. This takes the strength of the wheel, and the sycamore holds everything together because it's a tight grain. And then this gadget here measures the tire. This is a 24-inch surf girl. It goes from zero to 24. And you would start here, make a, a mark, and count how many times the wheel went around, and that gave you the length of the tire. So I tell the blast with the needed tire, five radiators, five plus 14 inches. So he'd take the metal, make the metal to the size we need. Then he'd put it on the machine behind you, it's called a bender. Back in the corner there's a bender. You put the tire, put the tire in the bender and you crank the bender and that would bend it to the radius that you needed. Then once you had it together, the blacksmith would weld the joint together again. Then you would heat the tire red hot, put this on a flat surface with a, with a hole for the, for the hub, drop that on red hot and dump water on it and that would shrink the tire under the wheel. And that would get tight. And when they did that, you were talking it had to be sixteenth of an inch. You were talking fine work, not not rough work. It had to be right on. And then once you had it on, they had holes in it, and they would put a couple pins in to hold the tire on. And then they had to ran the wagon for a couple of years, whatever it might be. And I have no idea. Feel so how long? I don't know. I wasn't there then. But <laughs> you'd run the, the tire would get too big for the wheel, so you'd have to you'd measure it again take the tire apart, get the like you need, you put it in the tire shrinker. And you hit a red spot up in the tire, you put it in the shrinker, and then push it back together again to make the tire to the right size. I call that a retread. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. The trier shrinker that he was speaking about and the tire bend. Let's see what's going on at the blacksmith shop here. I said I've already been here before, so I'm familiar with the uh, with the grounds here. But the one thing I got is here. I got. Oh, the bells! These bells are twenty-five dollars. So they're making them. So certain things here are five dollars, and I guess whatever it was on here was they're all sold out. <laughs> they were five bucks. The bells are twenty-five. What they're forging. Especially to try to 
Go to the gym. way there and it's shape. Maybe like 
four pounds is probably the biggest one. Like they got to run on yeah. there and
that's as far as I'm gonna go with that, right? We'll get it like a tulip looking. Rounded or closed up. Then I'll let it cool down. I'll take it next door, I'll drill a hole in it, put a stem in it, bring it back so it looks like this. Ooh. Okay. There's your final product. So we're gonna head over to the mechanical technology area, as it's called. Again, if you saw my Joanna's Furnace video, you probably gonna see a lot of the same thing again because we've been here before. You just gotta. I haven't been up to the the Iron Master's house yet. There's the sawmill, which we got to see operate last year, but it's not operating at this time today. There comes the uh, sorry let me get out of the way because there comes the uh, a ride coming this will probably be so dark we won't see a thing I think it just does a big little a, a big loop. And the last time I was here, when I came for a, a Hay Creek Festival, that's what it's called. They had a lot of military stuff going on here, but by the time I got here, a lot of the uh, Reenactors have left, but they had a few army vehicles as well. So again, here's the Technology Center. Oh, and they're doing demos. Cool. Cool. That's the first I, I didn't see them do the demos the last time. We got a, a radio treadle later. Late. He's operating a metal shaper. All these are belt driven as you can see. That is so neat. He's uh, doing a uh, turning. Good turning over there. That is so neat here. Done those. I know the name of it, what they keep doing. So let's call it. Continue looking around. There's a lot of folks seeing their uh, operations as well. I'm showing some of the wood turning that he's made. Thank you. Oh, 
we're gonna tread a lake. Now that's ancient technology, 1830. Tread a lake. That is neat. And right behind, I didn't see it, there is a copy machine. So whatever they pattern they put, it would copy. It looks like they might be doing a leg or a table or something. Or post. And over there is a sorry, box nailing machine. Okay. Here to see the operation. We're doing some wood turning here, sanding, we're sanding the, uh, the piece there. He's shucking corn shucker. He's operating a corn shucker over there. Oh, and they got a model train here. Cool, awesome. Oh, a boom machine as well. They do a winding, pressing, and, and the steering. An old milling machine. There's an old foot powered grinding stone. Oh wow. Nice. Nice. Standard gauge. Nice. Beautiful train. Oh, two. That one has a crane. The other one has passenger cars. Nice. Fly now. All the cars light up on the inside. Looks like you can see passenger. I guess it. I don't know if this one you can. Watch them do some. So this is the vintage machines that were operational here in the Hay Creek Valley during the hundred years from 1791 to 1889 when the Joanna furnace was in black. So this is a corn shuttle. Normally you stick a piece of corn and then and right now this is a room making machine. So um, when I was up at, uh, I'm trying to remember where it was at, there was uh, another event I was at, uh, one of the forts, there was a gentleman that showed how he did that by hand, how he did uh, the lacing there. Yes. 
Stone Mill is actually operating right now. And there's some fresh corn that was shelled. Not sure if he's gonna do a demo or not. He might do a demo of the corn being shelled. Yep, he's gonna do one. This is a piece of corn. Put it down. And here comes the seeds. All will come out of the cob. Yep. Oh. That is neat. Ancient technology, but it still works. Amazing. So I guess this is the the path that the um, the hay ride is going to take, and here it comes again. So it doesn't look like it's a very long ride because we just we just passed it a few minutes ago, and it's passing us again. We gotta go find out where the spot is at so we can get a ride and hopefully be able to see along the way. As well as go up to the uh, You told me about the Apple Festival? Yeah, that was neat. That's neat. They also do the Hay Creek one too. That's even bigger. That's the big one. Yeah, so I, when I went to the uh, Hay Creek, they did a demonstration of uh, how they made apple cider as well. I don't know if they're doing it tonight as well so you check out the luminary see the luminaries all over the ground I'm trying to find out where you where's the uh, the, the hayride here I hope this ain't it <laughs> let's see what's this oh wow yeah it is wagon ride so there's a pretty big line here waiting, but we'll wait. What the heck? They're having some Victorian dancing in here. <laughs> 